right? I'm not wrong on that. Like, they were hiring people for some sort of Warcraft mobile game for a really long time. So, I, I don't know whether they're working... They're probably working on multiple, I would imagine. They're probably working on multiple. But, uh, yeah, I, rem I remember them hiring for this years and fucking years ago. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, they look like the little uh, figurines. I see. Let's jump over here real quick. Let's have a let's have a gooch. Let's have a gooch. Join us in a new light-hearted and whimsical game where you're in command. Easy to learn but hard to master. Warcraft Arclight Rumble tests players' ability to create miniature armies to effectively overcome each mission's unique challenges. Designed from the ground up from mobile and set in the beloved Warcraft universe, Warcraft Arclight Rumble invites players to build armies with their favorite heroes and villains from Warcraft and battle out in exciting scenarios designed to test their tactical wits. So here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Every time I see one of these games, it looks like it's going to ask me to buy fucking gems or crystals or some dog shit. It wants me to buy it so that it speeds up the fucking stuff. You know what I mean? That's what my immediate reaction to anything like these games is it's there's some sort of fucking box... Oh, there's some sort of crate. Well, I don't sure. I don't know if that's in there, but it's it's all I see is something that's like for five ninety nine. You can fucking. Do you remember? Do you remember what the um, Dungeon Keeper when EA made Dungeon Keeper remake and they just fucked that entire game up by, with their greed? Do you remember that? Like so many of us were looking forward to Dungeon Keeper coming back because Dungeon Keeper is awesome. And they, they were like, oh, if you want to build a tunnel, that's four quid. Oh, you have to wait two days. Lol. Uh, in the fantasy world of Azeroth, Warcraft Arclight Rumble is a dazzling new sensation that's sweeping inns and taverns across the land. Mod check? I don't see it. A wondrous mechanical amusement machine powered by the mad wizardry of gnomish engineering, where Azeroth's greatest heroes and most fearsome villains come to life in miniature to do battle. Build your forces from collections of minis, starting with your army's leaders, which include Warcraft notables like the Warsong Chiefs and Gromash Hellscream, Archmage Jaina Proudmoor, and fill in your rosters with rank and file troop minis and powerful spells. Each single player mission presents its own distinct strategic puzzle to solve, and players will have to nimbly adapt their tactics uh, in real time to overcome these frantic challenges. Collect! See, that's. I just see you're going to make me buy it. Collect over 60 characters from across the Warcraft universe, brought to life as lovingly sculpted tabletop miniatures. Triumph through an epic single-player campaign with over 70 missions. Play co-op with your friends to put their armies to the test in competitive PvP. Engage in dungeons or take on demanding co-op raids. Join, ooh, join a guild, engage in PvP and much more. Check out the gameplay. Uh, join the beta. Uh, Alright, what does it play like? Is it a castle defense or what? Annie! Hi! Quiet. Why are you quiet? Why are you quiet? Woohoo! Be louder. Do, 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 do. Starts. Wait, this starts with a slot machine? <laughs> this starts with a slot machine. Gameplay video? I 
can't believe Arclight Rumble got cross-faction gameplay before we did. Fuck, man. Fuck, dude. They got cross-faction before? That's mental, mate. That's that's wacky. They got cross-faction, like, straight away. Uh, I mean, that looks like a Nintendo trailer. Alright, gameplay preview. Okay, that, it looks like a Nintendo trailer. So, whatever. Put, this, put your pennies in. Give me your monies. Give me your money. <laughs> Game of play. All right, what do we got here? Get out of the way. Uh... Right. So, okay, you, you pay your little uh, gems, uh, you just pick the units, so it's, it's like, a, it's a tower defense, this looks like a tower defense. It looks alright. It's not for me, though. I don't think it was ever made for me, either. I don't think I'm the target demographic here. It looks fun. It looks fine. It looks like if you're into mobile games, it'd be fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's just not made for me. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, it's the kick again. No, I mean, it's... Are we ever going to be really happy with a mobile game? People are so negative. Yeah, I don't think there's any need to be. It's not made for me. I can see people having fun with this. I mean, my, my only concern with all these games is... Are you targeting whales? That's all. I, I really, if you're, if you're into mobile gaming, this looks fine. It's well animated. Looks like it's interesting. It's got raid bosses. I mean, I saw uh, Immersius at some point. Yeah, it looks like you've got some kind of raid bosses that you can maneuver and do some stuff with. Looks fine. Not quite for me, but yeah. Yeah, the loot boxes, they, they keep bringing up the collectibles. That's where I'm worried. Like, they're showing all these. All these collectibles to pick up, like pop caps or Funko things. Yeah, I think it's a bit like Diablo Immortal. Like, uh, <laughs> is uh, <laughs> you guys know, I did put my foot in my mouth with the CEO of Blizzard Asia. Not that I knew it was him, uh, but um, Diablo Immortal would not have been received so badly if they had also announced Diablo 4 alongside it. Like, people wouldn't have cared anywhere near as much. And in fact, at the BlizzCon after, when they did have Diablo 4 announcement, people were playing the shit out of Diablo Immortal. Like, no one talks about that. No one talks about that. But the year later, when they did announce Diablo Immortal, that BlizzCon area, for uh, when they announced Diablo 4, Diablo Immortal's area was fucking rammed. People were playing the shit out of that game. The year Diablo Immortal was announced and they had that playable at BlizzCon, nobody gave a fuck. Nobody gave a shit. Like, people were actively, like, boycotting that area of BlizzCon and just ignoring the fuck out of it. The next year, when they announced Diablo 4, Diablo Immortal's area was crammed. Like, everybody was playing that thing out. It was just dumb. It was just dumb. It just made people... People were hyped for Diablo 4, not a mobile game. Right? They weren't hyped for that. I think it's at least Diablo for PC now actually meant things a bit as well. That's now, but at the time, that wasn't the case. Um, I can't remember the last time I went to BlizzCon. 2020, maybe? Something like that. Whenever the last BlizzCon was, I was there. Uh, so, yeah, it's coming to PC now, but at the time, it wasn't. But it didn't matter. As long as people knew Diablo 4 was coming, they were fine with the Diablo Immortal game. Uh, will you discard a collaboration that gives you a mount or something in WoW? What do you mean? 
We discarded a collaboration that gave you a mount or something in WoW. Uh, oh, do you think they'll? Oh, are you saying they'll announce something like they did with Hearthstone with the crossplay? Uh, I would, I would imagine they would, right? They, they usually like even now when we looked at the Legion box, they um, the that Legion special edition we're giving away at some point, uh, that comes with stuff for Hearthstone, Diablo. It comes, of course, they will. It's all their IPs. Why wouldn't they do that? Yeah, that's totally normal. I would imagine they would do that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I can imagine that the, um, if I was to look at this, what are the obvious ones you're going to get is you probably get a pet that looks like one of the minis, right? You probably get a pet that looks like one of the minis or perhaps a few of them that in WoW or something like that that allows you to have the minis inside. Whichever, whichever people gravitate to being the cutest one or something like that, I would imagine. It looks all right. It's just, I don't know, man. I just can't get into the idea of mobile gaming. I, I mean, I have a Switch. <laughs> that's that's about as mobile as I go. <laughs> I have a Switch, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna play if I'm going on a, a trip where I want to play a mobile game. I'm gonna play that. Uh, most of us can't. Uh, I hope I fuck. There's no wow mounts attached to a mobile game. Um, oh yeah, I assume there will be though. I would be more than ready for there'll be a mount or pets or something that's attached to it for sure. Uh, I would I would be surprised if they didn't do that. I would be fully surprised at that. Oh, you're saying if it's inside loot boxes. Oh, I see what you're saying, Reels. You're saying, like, if they have a loot box in uh, Arclight Rumble that gives you a wow mount. Because Belgium doesn't, doesn't allow loot boxes. Oh, that would be kind of brutal. I was I was suggesting that if you sign if you sign up and play if you play like what did they do for Hearthstone if you play like two hours of Hearthstone they gave you something in World of Warcraft something like that I would expect something like that that if you play X amount of hours of Arclight Rumble then they give you something in the other games or if you buy the game or something like that I hate the name though Arclight Rumble um doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, they want, I think they just wanted the acronym to be WAR, right? I think, I think that's literally what the... I think that name is based entirely on the accurate the, the acronym being WAR. Nothing else. Uh, no, uh, Blizz, Belgium bans loot boxes in games because it's gambling, and Blizzard wants loot boxes in the game, so they won't release it in Belgium. Oh! Oh, I see what you're saying, so they literally won't even release the game. I thought what they were doing for Belgium specifically was, like, watered-down versions of the game. Don't, it, isn't that what they've done with some of them? They've done ones that just don't have any loot boxes and have something else. Something like that. It sounds a bit fun and silly. It's supposed to be a fun and silly game. They, I mean, they, they literally cite that as a description. Is it's, it's light-hearted and whimsical. So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, they aren't releasing in Belgium, it appears. It's not available to pre-register there. Interesting. 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 How much do you reckon they're charging for a loot box collection? How much is it in Overwatch? I remember Andy spending a fortune in Overwatch, and you guys encouraged it as well. You were donating to the channel to buy more fucking Overwatch loot boxes. <laughs> Five trades to those with ten rolls. Yeah, you guys were literally donating to get more loot boxes. Like actual heroin pushes is what you guys were. It's hilarious. I was like, oh god. I think at some point it was like five hundred pounds was donated just to open loot boxes. They can't release normal game in Belgium when people use VPNs. Well, uh, VPNs are... I mean, VPNs are good. We use NordVPN here, obviously. Got us around several things. Even allowed us to get into FF14 uh, when it was down in the UK. Uh, so, well worth. NordVPN is a good thing. Protect yourselves from those nasty marketers that are coming for your information. Uh, shame. <laughs> Where can you get a good discount? You can get a good discount here with a NordVPN. You can get a very, very good discount and a nice trial. Hashtag <laughs> ad? Well, we, we only get sponsors who we like, like Display. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Display, you know? We only, we only take on sponsorships we enjoy. It works well. It works well. I only ever have one rule. One rule, and Nups will back it up, is we don't advertise anything I wouldn't advertise to my kids. So when I was approached to advertise gambling and things, that's a no from me, dog. <clears throat> that's a no from me, dog. Looks all right. I, I don't think that's a big problem. I, 